chat. And we are live. We about to cook a dish with Tish. Let's get it. Pop in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> cook a dish. <laughs> I know it's been a while and I am back again with another cooking video and today I have a guest with me, my Yo. co-worker, my homegirl, my friend, Hi. my sister, whatever y'all want to call her, okay? Yes. Her name is Miss, I call her Miss Davis because that's what we call each other, we call each other Miss So-and-so mm -hmm. at our workplace, but her name is Shaw Davis. <laughs> Shaw Davis. Or Sharonda. Or Sharonda. Yes. But um, y'all gonna hear me call her Miss Davis because that's what I'm used oh, to calling her. We're gonna switch her. over. We're gonna say Sha. We're gonna switch over? Yeah. Okay. You gonna get me used to it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with it. We're gonna go with that? Yes. What if I call you Sha at work? Miss Sha. Because we don't want the students getting it fucked up. Right. Okay? <laughs> The separation, but, uh, you have to separate. You got to separate it. But mm -hmm. let, on today's menu, we are cooking some turkey loaf. We got baked macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and shot made. Um, that feels funny saying shot. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that feels funny. Mm. So she made a salad. What kind of salad did you make? Um, Just a mixed green salad, kale, mm -hmm. romaine, and um, spring mix. Okay. So let me tell y'all something. Well, before I tell y'all something, go ahead and thumbs up this video, okay? I see we got four people watching so far. I'm going to need a little bit more of y'all to come on in here. I got 8,000 subscribers. Where y'all at? Come okay. on in. Come in. Come on in. Come on in. Cook with us. Right. Come on in. Cook a dish for Tish. Even though we cooking a meal, but y'all know I like to say cook a dish for Tish. She had me crack up the other day, and we're going to talk about that. But what I was going to say is y'all thumbs up this video and share me out and all that good stuff. But, so the other day when Miss um, Davis, I got to say Miss Davis. Miss okay. Davis, shy. <laughs> it just feels funny. It feels funny. I'm so used to calling you Miss okay. Davis. Miss Davis. But I really don't want to call her Miss Davis on here, y'all, for real. It'll bounce back and forth. Yeah. Sure, you'll bounce back and forth. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll bounce back and forth. But um, we were communicating the other day about doing this whole cooking video and everything. And I was like, so... Um, I think I said what I said something about cooking a dish with me or whatever, and he was like, "Yes." I was like, "A dish to me is a dish, a dish, <laughs> right?" So one item, one item, right? So I was like, "We're gonna cook a whole meal." She was like, "Wait a minute, that's not a dish, that's a meal." So we cooking a meal today. We cooking a meal with Tish, with Tish today. So we got the ground turkey because we're doing turkey loaf, um, cabbage. We're gonna do a cabbage. And we're also making some baked macaroni and cheese. Yes. Ooh, wait a minute. Love is so cooking on Sunday. Ooh. I messed up. What? I messed up. I don't have anything to cook the macaroni in. That's simple fix. We buy the time the noodles boil, we can run and grab something. But we laugh. The we give it a real. Huh? One of us will run out. We're going to get them the real. We're going to get it, it happens. real? It happens in restaurants. Okay. They be going to Food Lion, Kroger, Harris Tea, the Publix. They run out. They run outside and get what yeah. they need to get. Okay, so. They just not live to tell y'all they ran out. They ran out to get the stuff. Yes. We live to tell you that we here. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get started, we're going to wash our hands. And we're, we're going to start out with, um, I guess, cutting up all the different things that we need like mm -hmm. our peppers our onions the cabbage we can start out by cutting this stuff up and also boiling our noodles and we oh, oh yeah we got corn in the cob too fresh corn in the cob y'all too mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna shuck this corn and throw that in the bo in the to boil and we'll go from there oh, we can just, throw it in the oven it, however you want to do it, yeah, we'll do it now. this just show too boo Nah. No, 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 no. I'm new. I'm new to all of this. Yeah, I'm the new. I'm new to kid on the block. I'm gonna go to the restaurant and wash my hands. Yeah. So yeah, we got corn in the cob. In addition to all this goodness, y'all. So how's everybody doing on this good old Sunday afternoon? What y'all cooking for Sunday dinner? Let me know in the comment section. 
What are you guys cooking for Sunday dinner? What y'all cooking? Are y'all gonna are y'all cooking with me? Or are you guys um eating dinner already? Did y'all start eating dinner already? So I have this cutting board. And you can use that as a cutting board too. Okay. Let me get us some knives. So this is Shy's first time doing a cooking show. Or live. This or just much. yeah, just live. Yeah. She she's not really a camera person. So I'm definitely taking her out of her comfort zone right now. All the way. I'm taking her out of her comfort zone, but that's but that's what I do. I take people out of their comfort zone, you know? It is what it is. She you can fancy use... too, yeah. What? She got coverage. <laughs> <laughs> she got coverage. So what you want to do cut up? You wanna cut up these and I cut up the cabbage, maybe? You could do the um peppers yes. How and you like them slice chunk. So because they're gonna go inside of the um the meatloaf and I got another green pepper over there. Okay. And potato and um what you call it, onion. So we're gonna put that in the meatloaf and inside I'm putting my peppers in the cabbage. Okay. So the ones that you're gonna cut up for the meatloaf, make it like really small. Meat chunks. Yeah. Small chunks. Okay. Small chunks. And for the um cabbage. The onion, you can cut that in small chunks as well. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the cabbage. I'm gonna cut up the cabbage, y'all. What y'all having for Sunday dinner? Y'all ain't tell me. I ain't see what y'all was having for Sunday dinner. Let me see what y'all saying in the chat. In the chizzy, chizzy chat. Hey, here for the tea. Winsome Frenton says, Hi, sweetie. You are so cute and beautiful. Nice pick of you. Love you. Oh, thank you. I can see your belly button. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? That's what we doing? <laughs> We looking at belly buttons and stuff. Don't be looking at my belly button. If you, even if even if it's showing, don't look at it. <laughs> he can't help himself. He can't help himself, right? He said, "I can't help myself." Would you need a background? A little something, something, but yeah, only okay. because YouTube will. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, like I could do um, instrumental. Instrumental. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning. So that's why I had turned to a mine when I get hot. Right? Oh, okay, okay. So do they have like some type of something that you can put? So you not see some people say this is not my music. Can you say that like throughout, or you can't say that? No, I I've seen people do that and I tried it, but it still didn't work. I I don't know exactly how to do it to make it okay to where they don't give you a copyright. Cut up this cabbage. So, Miss Davis or Sha, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite dish or meal to cook? I should say. Well, I actually love salmon. I love mm -hmm. salmon. Um, I actually like trying different things, honestly. Yeah. I just did like a smoked Alfredo. Oh, I'm selling them. Smoked Alfredo? Who's that? Some turkey sausage and with smoked turkey and some chicken. Mm -hmm. So bomb. Really? Yes. Okay. 
I've even done salmon egg rolls before that came out really nice. I kind of play around with certain things. And one thing I, I think I'm going to say about her is that she can definitely cook. I've tasted a few of her um, dishes. Because <laughs> I haven't cooked her a meal yet. Right. I've tasted a few of her dishes before, and um, they're really tasty. She um, usually will bring, like, lunch or some type of dish or something like that to the school for the students. We have, like, different functions and stuff. It could be like a birthday party for one of the students or the staff, or sometimes it'll be um, for like the open house or whatever. But whatever it is, Miss Davis will hook you up, especially those tacos. Are there different types of tacos? <laughs> oh my gosh, she make the best tacos ever. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been trying to go look something, something, something. She makes some really good tacos. And it'd be like different types of tacos. It's not like one type of taco. It's like all different types of tacos. I'll be like, I've done fish, chicken, salmon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So. Maybe we can do that next time. So like a, um, different taco? tacos. Different tacos. Salmon tacos, chicken tacos, well, shrimp tacos, and fish tacos. Mmm. Okay. Nice veggies, maybe. That, yeah, that, was, that sounded like a good idea. Would y'all like to see that? Let me know in the comment section. Would y'all like to see us make different different types of tacos? Let me know in the comment section below. Would y'all like to see us make different types of tacos? Now, how do you make your cabbage, Ms. Davis? Um, I pretty much slice. Like, not, it depends on my food. Sometimes I like the chunky pieces. Sometimes I like the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Um... I do put my onions and peppers, mm -hmm. and garlic. Mm -hmm. um, I do broth instead of water. That's what I was going to do today. I do broth, yeah. I don't do broth. I've never done it with broth, but that, that was my um, idea for today. I was like, you know, I'm going to use broth because I said a few months ago that I want to start cooking more with broth as opposed to water to, you know, for that extra flavor. Yeah, that keeps you from having to use a lot of salt. Exactly. Keep you from using salt. Got you. Got you. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And I'm I'm definitely more mindful about my salt usage now that I'm a woman of a particular age. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get no older. Do lie. <laughs> when you get older, you start paying attention to how you cook your food and. Yeah. The spices that you put on it and all that, like, Absolutely. you got to just take better care of yourself when you get older. I mean, mm -hmm. we should be doing it our entire lives, but unfortunately, when we're younger, we just don't take life as serious as we do, you know, when we get older. That's all. That's true. But. Which is to be expected. You want to live life. You feel like it's fun and games. Yeah. And you're like, okay, hold on. Time is really moving faster than we thought. And it seems like time moves faster when you get older. Do, do you feel like that to you? Yeah, because we have more responsibilities. More responsibilities. Just, it's, it's, everything is on go time when you get older. Everything is on go time. It's like, I got to do this, got to do that, got to do this, got to do that. Right. I'm sick of it. You have to plan, you got to schedule. I'm over it. I just want to be a kid again. Right. <laughs> and as an entrepreneur, you have to stay ahead. Of everything. everything. And you want to stay within the, ahead, but within the seasons at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm over it, y'all. Like, if I could be a kid again. Do a difference. I would definitely be a kid again for as long as I can. Too bad we can't get two shots at life. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why can't we get two times to live life? That would be so dope. Right, let's try this one more time. Yes. Two times to do everything over again. Parenting, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like right. schooling. Like I would have taken school more serious. If I, man. Right. Absolutely. A lot of people. One thing that um, I, I notice about people is that when they're asked the question, do they have any regrets in life? Most people is like, no, I don't have any regrets because 
if I didn't do the things that I've done in life, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. And this and that. Fool you on that shit. I got a lot of regrets in life. I have a lot of things in life that I, I that I would do differently if. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, maybe regret isn't the right word for it or whatever, but I'm okay with saying that um, I've done things in my life that I regret doing. It happens. Mm-hmm. It, it's life. Because you want to do it over again. Yeah, because, and that's the thing, like, if you if you um, didn't want to do it, if you, if you want to do it over again, to me, that spells that you regret doing it the way you did it the first time, right? Mm, yeah, it could be, or it could be that um, you've learned a different way to do it, or your experience will be different. Mm-hmm. Some people do have a regret, mm-hmm. yes, and they want to redo it. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think it depends on their situation on that one. Yeah, it definitely depends on the situation. I have a lot of regrets in life. Yeah. Do you guys have any regrets in life? Tell the truth. Is there anything in your life that if you could stay say today, if you could do it over, would you do it over? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop us a comment. So we still cutting up our um, vegetables basically. She's cutting up some onions and green peppers. I'm cutting up the cabbage. Um, I probably should put the water on. For the um for the pasta, right? Yeah. Where you go with your dish? Which dish? Uh the pot? Yes. Pot right here. To boil our noodles in. Now I like to put a little olive oil in my pot when I, um, for my noodles to boil my pasta, just so they won't stick together. It could be olive oil or regular oil. It's up to you. It's no, you know, whatever your preference is. Yeah, it's a preference. It's a preference. It's no right or wrong type of oil to use. You know what? I'm thinking... Wait. Nah. I was gonna say we could have used these cake pans for they're not deep enough here. Not even deep enough, you think, for the loaf? For the turkey loaf? No. Um, no. No, you don't think so? Well, it'd be more cake style. So you're probably just having these two baby cakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, as long as it get cooked. Right. <laughs> Shit, we about to improvise over here. Yeah. We about to improvise over here so that nobody don't have to have to go outside and go to the store to um get anything. We can either do we can either do the um the macaroni and cheese in that, or we can do the loaf, the turkey loaf in it. Or do the I think the macaroni because of the milk. Yeah. Okay. See? Two brains is better than one. <laughs> All the time. Ah. Oh, did I tell you what type of wine we're drinking today? We have two different types of wine. We have, um, this is Dublin. It's a Scuppernish. Scupper not blush. That's the flavor, I guess. It has the flavor of muscadine grapes. I don't know if you guys ever had muscadine grapes before, but they are absolutely delicious. They was actually selling them at the rodeo yesterday. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And we also have some Riesling. Summit. Riesling by Summit. You have a good the um, Riesling? Yes. You, oh, you never tasted it before? Not that brand. Oh, okay. And I got the I got beer for it. Um, I was saying they didn't have a familiar brand either. So mm. let me just get something that's the high content. Yeah. 
Uh. So y'all got any questions for us? We just kind of freestyling. We ain't really talking about nothing in particular. Just whatever comes to the brain at this point. But if y'all have any questions for us, like I said, she's my coworker. We are both in the field of cosmetology. So if y'all got any hair questions, y'all can ask some hair questions too because this channel is called your favorite hair doctor Tish. So you have two hair doctors here right now with y'all. So if y'all have any, any questions, you feel free to ask us. Yes. <laughs> she's an instructor like myself. Um, she's actually the, the, head, the lead instructor <laughs> at the school. <laughs> what you said? <laughs> She's been doing it a lot longer than me, so I learned a lot from her. Um, yeah. Always a teaching moment. Mm -hmm. now, she's, she got now she's bringing me out of the shell moment. Yes, I'm bringing her out of her shell because <laughs> it's time to do more content for the business. Mm -hmm. Seems the way 2022 is 2023 going into 2024 is headed. Content, yeah. content, content. Mm-hmm. Yep. That part. And more content. <laughs> yep. Hey, Matricia. Who else is on here? Y'all gotta put my glasses on. But I see Matricia on here saying, hey. It's been a while since I've been on here giving y'all some cooking a dish with it. We didn't even do my song when we first came on. Oh, you have a song? I got a song. Oh, MG. You want to hear it? Yes. Let's see how I go. I got a clap. You've got a clap. It's time to cook a dish with Tish. Cook a dish with Tish. Okay. It's time. To cook a dish with Tish. Cook a dish with Tish. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that was cute and simple. Right, very simple. Anybody can learn it. It's just, you know, it's really, really cute and simple. Over here. So maybe I guess the next thing we could do is um we could shuck the corn. We got fresh corn, y'all. Fresh corn. Yes. She came with the corn, and she came with fresh corn. Okay. <laughs> yep. Fresh corn, baby. And <clears throat> just a beat on these lives, they'd be like, ah, uh -uh, she didn't make some dish. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You gotta do everything right on these that, on this camera because the people is gonna critique every little thing yes, that you do. Everything. Y'all a mess on this internet. Let me just tell y'all that right now about y'all. All, all y'all is a mess on this internet. <laughs> Let me see if y'all got any questions for us pertaining to here or whatever. Hey, Soul Food Cooking. How you doing? Hey, Marie Richardson. I miss you too. Jonah said you come to come on, come on and get a plate. We got um cabbage, corn on the cob, turkey loaf. Mac and cheese, and we have a salad that my lovely co worker made before she came over. So, the salad we're going to eat that while everything is kind of like cooking and getting prepared, you know. So, yeah, I got some exciting things that I'm going to do on this channel. I know I switched the name and switched the content up and everything. But in all honesty, what I'm noticing is that the new content isn't doing as well as I expected it to do. It's not doing as well. So I'm going to do a video soon. And in the video that I'm going to do, it's going to be a pre recorded video. I'm not going to go live doing it, I'm going to do a pre recorded video. And I'm going to let you guys know uh, different days of different content that I'm going to do on this channel. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep the name the same for now. Your favorite here, Dr. Tish, because I still plan to 
have content about hair and hair care because that's you know something that is near and dear to me it's something that i'm passionate about and i want to continue to provide information and knowledge about hair care and things like that you know what i mean um it's just that i'm i'm, I'm just i just feel like i need to try something different again and i know i've done this several times trying something different on this channel but i'm not going to stop until i get the majority of you guys to watch my content like i said in my community tab the other day it's eight thousand eight thousand plus of y'all over here and i don't even get ten percent of you all to tune into my videos and um that's not good so that means that a i must be doing something wrong um or b i need to do different types of content to cater to the different types of audience that i do have on this channel because i know i gained subscribers from different situations on this channel so i'm thinking that i need to do content catering or just like surrounding the different types of audience members that i have that's watching my channel what you think miss davis well, I haven't been following to extra say. Mm -hmm. um, like based on what I just said, as far like I got eight over eight thousand subscribers, and it's not a lot of people be looking at your numbers and they be like, um, "How you only you got eight thousand subscribers, but only a hundred people watching?" Oh, she bought those subscribers. Like they they be thinking that you do stuff like that. Oh, pay for your um, yeah, pay yeah, check. right. Mm -hmm. I ain't pay for nothing. People actually subscribe to my channel, and. But I know that those those so people. You, when you had your channel, when you started the channel mm -hmm. to get to your eight thousand, what were you um, presenting to your audience? In the be very beginning, I was doing a lot of different like try on hauls, but I wasn't really getting like views from that. It wasn't. I was getting views, but I wasn't getting the subscribers. Okay. People wasn't like coming in. So you felt like when you was doing more hair. No, I, mean, I just started. I just, I just started doing the hair stuff recently, like a few months ago. But maybe what you was presenting first was more interested. Maybe mm -hmm. incorporate that with everything else that you're doing. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah. something I can think of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You want to ready to do the corn? Yeah. So she's gonna shuck the corn. You need a bowl or something to put that in, right? Yes. So we got this bowl. You need more than one bowl? No, one is fine. It's only four. Yes. No, for the um oh you gonna need the um the thing, the stuff over there. Oh yeah, yeah. So you and this yeah. Okay. So what y'all think? Yeah, it is really weird to point out somebody's belly button. I agree. That is very weird. But it's a bunch of there's a bunch of weird people on the internet, so it is what it is. bunch of weird people on this here internet so now what i'm going to do i'm going to start just cutting this cabbage up like this because anybody got time to keep trying to peel back no daggone cabbage y'all feel me i'm just gonna start cutting this up like this yep So, Ms. Davis, have you thought about starting a YouTube channel? I don't know what to talk about. Hmm. You don't know what to talk about. I think I'm like, she could sit around the house all day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy? There's this guy that is on YouTube, and he literally just sets his camera up in his house, and he go live and just show what he's doing throughout the day. He ain't, he ain't even talking to the camera. Oh, wow. And there's a guy, he actually is asleep the whole time. And he has like 400K. Mm -hmm. I mean, 4.5K viewers. I'm telling you. People... And it's not like his room or his house is plush. He doesn't look like he's in America. 
Right, right. And that's another thing, like, I was thinking about, like, people like aesthetics. You know, they want a certain look and all the stuff for your your videos and, you know, your content I'm not doing stuff. something with travel. Mm-hmm. Um, so travel videos? Yes. But my thing is, I barely take before and after pictures for clients, parents. You're not really into the whole... Yeah, I would do one or the other, but something is going to be missing. Something going to be missing. Mm. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to season the um, the turkey for our meatloaf. And my counter is clean, y'all. I cleaned the counter off and everything before we got <laughs> she started. Did. She's... Let, let them know. She sprayed down. Right. That part. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is clean. But y'all, the people that's watching me right now that watch me normally, y'all know how I'll give it up. Y'all know how I feel about everything being um, clean and sanitized and all of that. Oh, so that's what I want to talk about. Speaking of sanitization. <laughs> I was... um. My client that just left here, she was telling me about a stylist here in Charlotte that she goes to sometimes. Like when she can't get me, she has like a huge following on social media. Mm -hmm. And she does amazing work. She, she specializes in um, silk presses. She specializes in silk presses, right? Um, but she was saying that the young lady is very unprofessional for the, um, oh yes. She was saying that the young lady is very unprofessional, like to the point where she'll have you, you can make an appointment, right? And you'll be in a salon. You know, back in the days, you could be in a salon for eight hours. But that's played out now. Like, really played out. Nobody should want to be... People would pay double now to be in and out. Right. They sure will. They can't double to be in and out. They will definitely pay double to be mm -hmm. in and out. So, I had asked her, I said, well, is she is she licensed? Does she have a license? She said, you know what, Tish? I don't know. I never... Paid attention to it or whatever. She said, that's a good question. She said she never paid attention to it if the girl was licensed. And she showed me her Instagram page and everything. And she's a young girl. It's usually these young stylists that they just doing whatever. They not even, no time management, no nothing. They just doing. Where I'm at now again, I had the text on. I was like, they're nasty. Who nasty? The other stylists and they're older. And same thing, they had clients waiting like an hour, two hours, three hours before they even started. How old are they? They like in the 40s? 40s, 50s. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's not people in our age range that's doing the same type of stuff because they are. Mm -hmm. um, but it's happening a lot with these young people. You think there's going to be enough for real? Yeah. Okay. Because the egg is going to spread, spread it out. Yeah. Okay. So we got our ground turkey. You said what's in the glass? Wine, Dumpling. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite brands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I asked her was they um, was the young lady licensed? She didn't know if she was licensed or not. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, I was like, you know what? It's not just important. I said, it's not just about learning how to do hair. Um, the reason why you're going to go to school, but it's a whole bunch of other things that, you know, it entails. Like learning the proper way to sanitize your tools and your implements. Right. Learning the different types of scalp disorders and diseases and things that you need to know before you touch a client's head. Right. These people don't care. They do not care. They just want to make money. They just want to make money. That's it and that's all. 
Okay, so we got our ground turkey. I got some Lowry's seasoning salt that I'm gonna put. All right, a little Lowry's. Garlic powder. Y'all already know how I give it up with the garlic powder. Love garlic. garlic. Lots and lots of garlic powder. Why, why? Why put out the garlic powder, y'all? Somebody's dropping in the chat. All my longtime viewers, my longtime supporters, drop it in the chat. Why do Tish put a lot of garlic powder in her her food? I want a lot of garlic. You want a lot of yours too? No, I said I want a lot of garlic. Oh. Which put it in the Cause I love me some garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing special. I love it. I love it. And and you know the other reason why is like Tabitha the Brown always say is it doesn't have salt in it, so you can put as much as you want. Right, right. And it gives a good flavor. So those are the top three. Those are the reasons why I put a lot of garlic powder in my food. Black pepper. Um, I'm gonna put a little ground cumin in it. A little ground cumin, right? I got here some Tony Sriracha. Mm, I love cooking with Tony. Tony Sriracha? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good spice right here. Cajun too. Mm -hmm. And I also have some Italian seasoning. Shark man, get up here with your stupid comments. <laughs> Talking about is your belly button an Audi or an Oh my God. Mind your business thing in life is not important. Eat healthy. Right, that part. Italian seasoning. Well, we have Tashana. Hey, Tashana, how are you? Thank you. So there's that. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that. We're cooking with Tish. Yes, we got some breadcrumbs. Brought our skills together. Mm-hmm. You mm -hmm. need a pot for the cabbage, yes, right? Yes, for the cabbage. Okay, so let's see what we got for the cabbage. Ooh, I don't have any more deep pots. So what we're gonna do, you wanna wait until we wait until we're done with that. Look at the big one. This big, uh, yep. mm -hmm. the wok. Yep. Okay. Or oh, this is big wok, right? This one right here. I never use this one. This one is even bigger. What is this one? Actually, that one's fine. This one? Yep. Thank you. We're doing turkey meatball, cabbage, macaroni and cheese, corn on the cob. Cornbread, we both were thinking cornbread. Nobody actually brought nobody actually bought cornbread. it, right? <laughs> well, we definitely were both we thinking about cornbread. Corn. I wish we would have made cornbread, yes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we need to run out because this is the second time we've needed something. We're like going out, okay? We're not going out, we'll be without the cornbread. Yeah, we're just, we're next time we're just gonna somebody's gonna just go ahead and get the cornbread, right? Just get it. Yes. Cause we were, while we was both thinking about it, hold up. Is there any here? Hold up. Everybody about some jiffy. Hold up. She might have some jiffy. Oh Lord. <laughs> I got pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> AC heating <laughs> Why we can't make cornbread out of pancake mix? <laughs> I, I <don't> know. <laughs> I've never done it that way. We can make our own. We can make up something. We can make something up. Well, I'm from the country and we did everything from scratch. So if I, I'm quick YouTube. We won't hang y'all up. We'll hang y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we live. Well, yeah. We're live with Tish on her YouTube channel. Cooking with Tish today. Mm -hmm. Here's the broth for the um, cabbage. Okay. Okay. How, okay. I'm learning. So, guys. I have the mic off. We I'm both sorry, we both want some cornbread. Oh my God. We both want cornbread, know. right? I don't have any cornbread, but I have, I got pancake mix. Y'all think we can make cornbread out of pancake mix? Some bread crumbs. She's getting the meatloaf together with brown turkey. We have a macaroni and cheese. We have a 
cabbage. Oh, no, Egg. And of course, we had to have our wine. Yes, one we got our wine. Red. Yes, yes, yes. My favorite, and she loves her reasoning. Mm hmm. So, you know that so this is going to be the Yeah. Oh, we need the onions and peppers. We need some onions and peppers. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Come, Tashana, come on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix, get out a good mix. So we're using um, broth instead of water for our cabbage steam. We're gonna do the steamed cabbage. Miss Davis is about to hook up the cabbage, y'all. And like she said, she's using chicken broth instead of water for the cabbage, to yes. steam the cabbage. We're gonna use the chicken broth, y'all. So I'm gonna have to do some upgrading because I need that thing that moves around when you're cooking and moving around and mm -hmm. shaking. And this actually moves around my stand. Yeah, that's the one I need. I but I, you, the reason why I don't use it to move around, to be honest with you, is because it makes a lot of noise. And oh. when I was using it before, my viewers was like, what's that noise? Really? Yeah, they're like, what's that noise? So I stopped doing it, stopped using it. Mm. So you can change the setting on there, the setting. I don't know if you could change the setting. I don't think so. I don't think it's like this settings. It's just, um, it, it's like a motion movement. Tashana, we're gonna have to do another one. Cooking one of these things. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. That's somebody you know? Tashana. Oh, Tashana. Yes. Hey, Tashana. I know with that Tashana. Yes, Tashana from school. Yes, Tashana, you gotta come over and cook with us. Yes, and she's almost a licensed cosmetologist now as well. Hopefully soon to be an educator. <laughs> exactly, that part. That soon part. To be an educator. We're cooking with Tish. She's taking me out of my shell for those of you all who's joining. Mm -hmm. I don't do live, I don't do cameras, I don't do all of that. I'm the behind the scenes person. But she's doing it today. Yeah. Today she is stepping all the way out of her comfort zone. Cabbage going. And everybody know cabbage cooks down. Steam, steam, steam. Turkey, ground turkey meatloaf. Macaroni and cheese, a little cabbage, and we still think about that one. Yeah, we still look. <laughs> We think about that. I can get my iPad. We can look at the um, YouTube. Oh, and make it from scratch. We just yeah. do a little small one from scratch. She say, "Hey, Miss Tish. <laughs> how you doing, girlfriend?" She said, "How are you, Tashana?" Got our meatloaf over here, y'all. With our ground turkey, making it do what it do. Hey! So we're gonna do the turkey loaf in in these pans, right? Okay. Yeah. So I forgot to get a pan for our macaroni and cheese. Um, so we're about to improvise. Don't judge us. <laughs> Don't judge us. We're going to make it do what it do. Because that's what we do. We add a little more breadcrumbs. Just a little bit more. And I'm going to be using a cake pan. <laughs> I'm going to use a cake pan for the turkey loaf. It's okay. It's going to be okay. I promise y'all. <laughs> Can you, you know how to turn the oven? Turn the oven. It's on. Oh, you got it. Look, my sous chef got me. <laughs> y'all will not be waiting in line an hour for your, Look, for your meal. I said you know how to turn the oven and she's like, it's on. It's on. It's like, preheating over here already. Ah. When you come to cook with Tish, you 
do not have to wait in line two or three hours. Exactly, so that part. Seated. That part. Let your guests decide to order extra because it's that good. That's right. Let them know. Let them know. All right, so I'm getting ready to put my turkey loaf. Yes, she do need a restaurant. Or at least the food truck. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure, y'all. Y'all trying to, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. Pressure. Especially she got me at my house on a Sunday in her kitchen. <laughs> Yes, I got her all the way outside, y'all, on a whole Sunday. Miss Davis in my kitchen. And on camera. And on camera. Let's really get into the Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get into it. We'll put a little olive oil in the pan. Let's get into it. For that. Uh, let's see. So I'm getting ready to get this turkey loaf inside of this pan. In the cake pan, y'all. It's going in the cake pan. Don't judge. Don't judge us. Don't judge me, because this is my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge. Don't be judging me. You gotta start out. Look, I just yes, moved here, and a whole lot of there's a lot of stuff I did, did not buy yet. So, y'all bear with me. I'm, I'm getting stuff little by little. Right? This is gonna look, Miss Davis. Look at this. It's gonna be a little small little turkey loaf like that. That's good enough, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can spread it all the way out, like a cake. Yeah, little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. More flour pops. <laughs> So I did put a little olive oil in the pan so that, you know, it won't stick to the pan too much. Look, we got, instead of a turkey loaf, is it? Cake loaf. Right, that part. Do you What's want up, cat? A cake loaf. What you say? Yo, they need to package up them 50 buns. And send them. <laughs> What's up, Cap? One of my moderators in the building. Shout out to Cap. Kaepernick, a.k.a. Kaepernick. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. Can you open it for me? My hands is all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So we got our cake loaf in the oven. Our cabbage is cooking. What else we got going on? The macaroni. The macaroni is about to go in the oven. I'm gonna let you do that part. Make it be a mixture. Right. So we're gonna do the macaroni, and um, you're gonna put the, the corn in this pan, this, this pot right here. Yeah. So we gotta clean as we go. So my sous chef gonna make sure that's done, right? <laughs> Okay, let me get the, I need the pan for the mac and cheese. Let me wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. She's gone, her viewers. <laughs> Y'all check her um, YouTube out. Subscribe, Cooking with Tish. What's your YouTube? My YouTube channel name is Your Favorite Hair Dr. Tish. Or, um... You could, they could type in Letitia Campbell, too. It'll come up. Okay. Either way, Letitia Campbell, it'll come up. Or your favorite here, Dr. Tish. Because I changed the name. Okay. So, I'm live with Cooking with Tish on her YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Y'all go follow, like, and subscribe. So... We get ready to get this macaroni and cheese together, y'all. We doing macaroni and cheese, y'all. I don't think I ever made macaroni and cheese on my channel before. Really? 
Have y'all ever seen me make macaroni and cheese? I don't think they ever seen me make macaroni and cheese. For real. So we're gonna do some macaroni and baked macaroni and cheese. Down south, what I notice about down south is Y'all just say macaroni and cheese. Y'all don't say baked macaroni no, no, and cheese. No, we don't got time to be baking and mac. This is macaroni and cheese. Right. Yeah. So we <laughs> in New York up north, we say bake. We specify yes. if it's baked. Baked, yes. Because we're not always baking it. Sometimes we'll do the macaroni and cheese on top of the stove. Mm -hmm. So we'll say macaroni and cheese or baked macaroni and cheese so that we can know which if it's stove top or oven. Right. We just say we say baked macaroni and cheese when it's in the oven when it's in the oven. Mm -hmm. and down but down south when they say macaroni and cheese, you know get baked or stove top. Right. <laughs> right. But for the most part, the reason why y'all just say macaroni and cheese is because it's it's gonna be baked. For the most part. For the most part, it's yeah. gonna be baked. It's very rare you'll see a southern food. Macaroni and cheese on the stove. On top of the stove. Unless they're trying to make a quick meal for their kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you ever did um macaroni and cheese on top of the stove with hot dogs? No, not with hot dogs. Yes, that was a meal. That was a, a, a meal for us when we was children. As a child, macaroni and cheese on top of the stove with hot dogs. How many people in the chat can relate to that? Macaroni and cheese on top of the stove. That's the other one thing. With hot dogs. That was like a quick meal when your mother didn't feel like, you know, making a big meal and all that. She would put some macaroni and cheese, the craft macaroni and cheese, you know, from the um from the box, cut up some hot dogs, you know, ball rolls or whatever, and mix it in with the macaroni and cheese, and that you got a meal. Yeah. Girl, it was the bomb. We just did hamburger helper. <laughs> some good, ain't nothing like some good old hamburger help. Yes. Um. Got the carnation. Rinse that for me. Wait, do I have a um candle? Oh yeah. I thought I didn't have a candle. Over there. That would have been a hot ass fucking mess. What if you didn't have a can opener? <laughs> well, not really, because I could have used a knife and boom, 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 and oh, yeah. <laughs> all that. I mean, we definitely know how to improvise as black people. Like, we know. We are the real survivors. We are the real survivors. When we don't have certain shit, it don't matter because we'll make it work. You know what I'm saying? We make it do what it do. All day, every day. All day, every day. We're going to make stuff happen. We're going to make it do what it do. For real. You would not be hungry, that's for sure. Definitely won't be hungry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Alright, so I got my sharp cheddar cheese. What y'all saying in the chat? What y'all over here talking about? That's right. Thumbs up the live. Thumbs up the live. No, I haven't seen you make it, but I'm watching. Yes, Marie. I like my macaroni and cheese. Cheesy, Cheesy. too. Oh, yes. I don't know about nobody else, but I like my macaroni and cheese cheesy like a mother. So I use sharp and mozzarella, and I usually use um, mild. I usually use mild sharp and mozzarella, but today we're gonna just do um, the sharp mozzarella, and then I have a, a triple cheddar. So in here it has. Um, Shredded Vermont white cheddar, sharp and mild cheddar cheese in mm. in this mix I love together. I multiple cheese in my macaroni. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Girl, what you talking about? That's a good what you talking thing. about? These are clean. Um, my um, scissors that I use to cut like my meat and stuff like that. Why well, I can't find it? Oh, no. I was looking all over for it the other day. It's hiding somewhere. Yeah, I'll, it'll it'll um, it'll surface. Mm -hmm. 
it'll come to the surface at some point. Turn that on, turn the water on, and rinse it off. So this is the triple chatter. What are you guys having for Sunday dinner? Y'all didn't tell me y'all. Y'all just ignoring me and stuff. What y'all cooking for Sunday dinner? Do y'all have Sunday dinner yet? What y'all got going on? For those of you that's just tuning in. Hey Val! How you doing? We making baked macaroni and cheese. We're also making some turkey loaf, ground, um, um, yeah, turkey loaf, uh, meat loaf with ground turkey, and cabbage, steamed cabbage. This the mozzarella. Oh, this thing is going to be mad cheesy. <laughs> I should have brought my blanket. <laughs> I got a blanket for you, honey. I got a blanket for you. You ain't got to go nowhere. Look, I got an extra room. Okay. Blanket, whatever you need. You can stay right here. This is going to be a good old Sunday dinner. Carnation. Stove top macaroni, porter powder, and cheese. And oh, yeah, that's what you got going on oh, today, that Michael? That's nice. Yeah. So we got our carnation milk, eggs. Let's get an egg and the egg cracker lacking. Ooh. I'm going to do two eggs. What do they put different in their macaroni and cheese? What do you guys put in your macaroni and cheese different than what I'm doing right now? I know some people use um, heavy, is it heavy, 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 like that. What else are we put in here? And we're gonna put some salt and pepper. Lots and lots of black pepper because when I put black pepper, when I'm cooking light skin food, I want to see the pepper. Okay. And macaroni and cheese is a light skin food. That's what I consider one of my light skin foods. So. We got some black pepper. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody say yum yum. Yum yum. Say yum yum. Eat them up. Say yum yum. Say yum yum. Say yum, yum. Eat them up. Say yum yum. Say yum yum. Say yum yum. Hey, and Miss Davis has on my, one of my t-shirts today. Look, show them. Cooking a dish yes. with this t-shirt. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we got black pepper. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning in there too. Like, because I just like to see like certain spices in the macaroni and cheese and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it has a nice flavor too. It got a nice flavor too. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. At all. Period. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play As with the it. Young people say, period. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Davis, tell them what you put in your corn. Miss Davis got this corn popping over here. Uh, what I you just, put in the corn? I just did regular seasonings. I did a little water, a little um, broth. Mm -hmm. The chicken broth. Yep. Chicken broth. Seasoning I did season salt. salt, garlic, and I did the tonics. Okay. Yeah. Nothing too major. Right. And so we'll put butter in the apples, or do you want to put butter in it? You put butter in it now, or? It's, it's either or. You want butter now, or yeah. Okay. Let me see the butter. Yeah, you can put butter in it. Okay. There you go. So she's going to put a little country crock in there, too, because, you know, it's black food. We like flavor in our food, okay? We got the fever for the flavor of the foo food. Not Pringles, but foo food. Foo. <laughs> foo. <laughs> Sprinkle a little salt. All right, and now we're gonna give this a little, a nice little mix. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I bet 
bet you I ain't never seen nobody make um, meatloaf inside of a cake pan until today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen nobody make meatloaf inside of a cake pan. Okay, don't judge me. Judge your damn self. <laughs> It is all good. Oh, yeah. Let's get add a nice little squirt. I'm going to add some more cheese to this. Oh, yes. We got to add more cheese to this. Mm-hmm. We're going to add some more cheese to this, baby. I got to go get my iPad so we can look up how to make some homemade cornbread. Wait, is it enough eggs? Hopefully. Oh, it's only one more egg left, so we gotta see. It should be good. Yeah, one egg should be good, right? Yeah, that should be good. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, gonna add a little more cheese. Add some more cheese. Oh, yeah. Maureen McLeod. I remember I won. Yes, you did win a Yum Yum Eat em Up t shirt. You sure did. What kind of that? You got raisins? That's raisins in it? Is that raisins? Cranberries? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can do cranberries. You need a plate. I made it for my the salad lady. Look, this is a salad that she made. Salad. Homemade salad she made, y'all. Mm -hmm. And Marie says, I don't like sharp cheddar. I do mild, but I do gouda, mozzarella, pepper Ooh, jack, and four cheese Italian, and I melt a block of Velveeta and lots of butter first and add my eggs, milk, and other cheeses. Nice! She's cooking with Tish. Yes, Marie. That sounds like it's some That's good old mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Let me add some more to mozzarella. <clears throat> Mozzarella, right? Add some sharp. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna take this and pop it in the oven. Oh yeah. Ooh, Miss Davis, look at this. Or Sha, Sha, look at this. Yeah, yeah I keep calling her Miss Davis because that's what I call her at work. And it's so hard for me to break out of that habit, <laughs> y'all. We said that I was gonna go back and forth with her name and go from Sha to Miss Davis, from Sha to Miss Davis, from Sha to Miss Davis. But it's just really hard for me to just not say Miss Davis. I'm just accustomed to calling her Miss Davis, y'all. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm over here being like too formal or whatever. It's just that that's what I'm accustomed to calling her. That's all. Did you put the um? What? I did. Oh, it was just more than you. Yeah, I, I did. We'll put this in a tough wrapper later. Mhm. Mm yeah. I did. I did. I did. Okay, that should be enough in the inside. I'm gonna take some more and sprinkle it on top, and then we're gonna put this in the oven. Oh yeah. She said she subscribed a long time ago. You need to cater. Who that? Mister Chapterjana. Oh, Tashana, you're so sweet. Thank you, Tashana. Private events. That's what we might need to do. I, you know, I thought about doing that, like having do an event where I, I invite like my supporters on YouTube. Uh huh. Cause if there's a chef, well, he's I don't know if he's he's not like a certified chef, but he's he cooks on YouTube. And um, Facebook. His name is um, Darius Cooks, uh -huh. <laughs> or Darius Crooks. <laughs> there was a big, yeah, he's a scammer. Don't a known scammer allegedly online, <laughs> but he does um, catering events for his supporters, and like he'll rent a space, uh -huh. and um, they buy tickets. Hmm. They buy the tickets and, come and, enjoy his and they come and they cook, eat his food that he cooked. So I definitely, definitely thought about doing something like that. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. But the thing about it is you got to be pretty popular and big in order to get people to really support it. You know what I'm saying? Like, unfortunately, 
if those two things aren't the case, you're not going to get much support. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Y'all feel what I'm saying? That's, that's true. Mm-hmm. I'll just add a little more cheese on top. I might as well sprinkle it all. I'm going to put it all. It ain't going to kill nothing. No. The more the merrier, right? Yes, indeed. We're going to take it and put it in the oven. I'm going to take this and put it in the oven now. Wipe that off. So what else we got? Um, everything is really in the oven. Everything is cooking. Steam, corn is steaming. Macaroni and cheese is cooking. Okay. The turkey loaf is cooking. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to sit here and talk. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about... I told you guys earlier, and I'm going to say it again. If y'all have any hair questions... This is your favorite hair doctor, Tish channel, and you have two hair doctors in the kitchen cooking right now. So if y'all got any questions pertaining to hair or whatever, now is the time because you have two experts in the hair business in the kitchen together. Okay? <laughs> y'all better get loaded with the information. Yeah. So come on. It's smelling really good in the kitchen right now, y'all. Everything's smelling good. Nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these spices put back up. Y'all already know how I do. I'm going to wipe these buck jars off and put them back in the cabinet. You have a sugar. I what? Sugar. I do. Um, It's not going to be sweet though, right? No, no, no. This one don't have any little tiny Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to wipe that. Wipe all these jars off. Before we put them back in the cabinet, because y'all already know. Y'all know how I do. Right? You said question, why does my chicken have hair on it? <laughs> Mike, you about to make me say something that I shouldn't say on here, so you better stop your shit. <laughs> I was about to say something. 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 I was to say something. Oh my God. Ah! Michael, don't do that. He's about to make me say something about something, and I don't want to do that, so don't be doing stuff like that, okay? <laughs> y'all thumbs up this live, y'all. Y'all know the more you give me a thumbs up, the better it is for the algorithm. My video will get shared out to the YouTube streets. So if, you, if you're watching right now and you haven't thumbs up the video, just take a couple of seconds and click out. Go and hit that thumbs up and come back in. And while we clean our mess, well, after we clean our mess, we're going to eat a little salad and we're going to sit here and chit chat with you guys. I'm going to bring some chairs in here for us to sit down and then we can chit chat with them. In here? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This wine is so good. Mm. That wine is delicious. Yes, this is the wine. Tell them about it. What's the grapes used for it? It's um, sweet mustard wine. Sweet mustard The percentage is well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna get you. Yeah, it definitely sneaks up. This is the good wine. I love I've had the duck one before. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've had it. My favorite brand. Right. Oh, we're supposed to be looking up the. Um, oh, for the. Yeah, um, the I gotta get my iPad so we can look up that cornbread. See if we can make some homemade cornbread, y'all. ASAP, ASAP. Where's my I gotta find my iPad. So, Miss Davis, come over here and keep them entertained while I go get my iPad. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
I'm taking her all the way out of her comfort zone. I'm telling yes. my son, come over here and keep them entertained. Y'all have your books out, your paper and paper. Wait. <laughs> I'll be back. Where's everyone from? Where's everyone from? I am a country girl. I am from South Carolina. Where are you from? Where's everyone from? <coughs> I'm actually enjoying myself. I don't do live. I don't do... I'm lost, yes. <laughs> if I have a post, you're probably like, oh gosh, she hadn't posted in the whole, uh, maybe it's once or twice a year. She's not a social media person mm -hmm. at all, y'all. But hey, when you're an entrepreneur, you have to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. And move with the, um, the, the times, flow. the times, the flow. You have to move with it. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You have to do what you have to do as an entrepreneur. Um, for you ladies, guys who are just now joining us, I am cooking with Tish today. She is live on her YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Our menu today is our meatloaf, cabbage baked macaroni cheese, corn in the pie. And we have our wine. I haven't had this kind of a dinner on a Sunday in so, 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 so long, so I have this is actually a good thing. This mm -hmm. is really good, so. I haven't had it. It's always like quick. When you're an entrepreneur, it's like quick, simple, easy, quick and fast, but this is really good to have an actual home cooking meal, macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. Outside of the restaurant, because you always can go to the restaurant and get you a scoop of macaroni, a scoop of collard greens. Mm -hmm. But it's good to actually intake these vegetables and things today. Mm -hmm. Let's see, can they? Uh, maybe yeah, put it in there. Yeah. We're trying to get y'all situated. You can sit that. Lean it on this one. Are we gonna be? Yeah. Let's see. Is that good? Can they see you? Can y'all see us? Uh, I'm gonna eat my salad while we talk. Oh yeah, we can eat our salad. <laughs> There's some paper plates in that closet right there on the top. Okay. Get... There's some small ones and some um, big ones. We try. I'm just trying to get y'all situated, y'all. Cause we're gonna sit here and eat our um, eat a salad while we. Um, Wait for the food to finish cooking. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses at? They not over there? Where's my glasses? I'll be back, y'all. Can't find my glasses. I love a good old salad. 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 Mmm. I love a good old salad. I love a good salad. I gotta have my glasses to read y'all comments because it, you know, if not, Maria says I'm from, oh, Charlotte. We in here. <laughs> Hawaii, we got Hawaii in the house. Oh, wow. Okay. Send us your recipe. Con or Jira, what's that? I don't know what that what that mean. Tashana, are you cooking today? So we're gonna have us a salad while our food is cooked. King. There's two forks. You said you did what? Oh, you didn't. You didn't cook today. Mm. See if you want to look more crispy. It's like a vinaigrette and salami. A vinaigrette. Oh. I did a little rice vinaigrette mm -hmm. and some salami. So see if you want like a cream. 
I'm, I know I'm definitely gonna want some type of creamy. Yeah, you sound like me. <laughs> I got some Caesar right there on the door. I don't know I'm gonna eat raw onions, but I'm gonna eat them today. Oh, really? No, I'm not. Oh, I should um, chop them. Yeah, I don't do raw onions, but. What about you decide? Yeah. I'll try one with the salad. You might be like, mm. I might, yeah, might feel different, right? Yep. And so you put romaine, you said romaine and kale? Kale and a spring mix. Okay, kale and a spring mix. Kale and a spring mix. Cucumbers and tomatoes. Yes. Red onions, some cranberry raisins. Mm -hmm. Some cheese. Mm. I love this salad. This is good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like some meat in here. Okay, steak. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm eating meat. I love a good salad. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually I do one with like feta cheese and strawberries. Mm-hmm. With the red onions. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, yeah, some cheese on top of this would definitely be. I put a little Parmesan. I didn't want to do too much cheese being that was on the macaroni and cheese. Mm. Got you. It's good. Thank you. This is good, y'all. This could have been dinner all along. I love it. <laughs> For real. I did kale, romaine, uh, the romaine heart. I cut it up real nice. Mm -hmm. And the spring mix, um, the red tomatoes, red onions, creme raisins, Parmesan cheese. There are little pecans in there. Oh, you got pecans in there too? Mm -hmm. Pecans. Yeah. <laughs> Pecans, pecans, <laughs> tomatoes, and <Tomato. laughs> Right. Mm. This is delicious. Thank you. I was like, we have food, but we're going to be hungry before the food is done. We'll make a quick salad. Yeah. Because I was going to do um, the mashed potatoes. And I was like, we still have to wait on that to cook. Plus, everything's you know, got to yeah. wait. Yes. So I was like, let's do a salad. Mm-hmm. And salad is always good for a meal because you get your extra veggies in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The extra greens, extra greens that you need. Yeah. Because all we have is the um, cabbage. For the greens. And I thought about asparagus. And I was gonna say, I went back to cook. And even though I don't take that long, you still can't eat it without the meat. Right. So you like asparagus? Oh, yes. I love asparagus. You like it grilled, steamed, either way? In the oven. Mm -hmm. I make them in the oven. I, um, I soak it before I put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And some olive oil. I've never done that. Soak them. How long do you let them soak for? It's like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Or just sit it, you can sit it in the fridge or sit it out. I soak it in some olive oil, garlic powder, mm -hmm. black pepper, and a little salt. Not to the point, not soaked, like doused in it. But just like sprinkle some olive oil on it. Right, right, right. And then I kind of like move it around in the pan, mm -hmm. sprinkle a little more just so that it can be kind of glazed, right? I put my black pepper, my garlic powder, a lot of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Every, <laughs> everything has a lot of garlic powder in it for me. The garlic powder, black pepper, salt, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes maybe, maybe 30. It depends. You can let it soak as long as you want. All right, all right. Like basically, you're you're um, what is that called when you're letting it marinate? 
Then you can marry him. She says a stick better. Right. And you can do it the day before if you want. Like it's, it depends. It's up to you. Then I put it in the oven for about, I don't know, I guess about 30 minutes. Right, okay. Just for it to have a little bit of a crunch. I, I still want a little crunch. Yeah, I need the crunch for my asparagus. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want my, I need my crunch for my asparagus. Mm-hmm. Put it in the oven. And I usually, I usually have that with, um, with salmon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Like, I just have some salmon and asparagus, and that's it. Wow, okay. Mm hmm. Delicious. Cook it with Tish, honey. We need an appetizer. <laughs> I want some more. We have more. This is delicious. And she ate her raw red onions. I did. Red onions to me is the bomb with a salad. Most people, most people. Mm. But I don't know if you noticed. I didn't eat it and bite into it like you did just now. I had to mix, mix it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I can't do a salad without my red onions for some reason. It, I feel like it brings the flavor to the salad mm. or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting some more. <laughs> this is good. I'm a, we should do a salad bar. A salad bar would be the bomb. Yeah. Like different types of salads? Yes. A taco bar and a salad bar one day. A salad bar? Yeah. And actually, we can collaborate the two. We can. Because you can make taco salad. Salad. Regular salad. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to see that? Absolutely. Y'all want to see that? This Caesar dressing was bomb with it, too. It ain't it? Oh, my God. We're hungry as hell, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll eat dinner still. You know what? I'm going to definitely put a small portion of, of everything on my plate. We're going to be full off the salad. This salad is definitely going to have us full. But we got to taste the food when it's done for y'all so y'all can see our real, real reaction. I always like to make sure that I taste my food on camera. And one thing about me is that I'm very honest. I'm not going to fake the funk. You know, some people feel like some people that cook on camera, they taste their food, they always be like, oh, it tastes so good, this and that, that, that. And I think that most people do that. I don't really see anybody that tastes their food after they cook it and be like, oh, I don't know, this wasn't this or this wasn't, I don't really see that too much. Right, because a lot of people think they have the best of the best. Right. And, and that's one reason why I like to do these cooking shows and bring somebody else on camera with me because I want them to give their reaction to it. I want someone there to taste my cooking as well and give their honest opinion opinion yes, on it, you know? Absolutely. But if it, if it ain't right, I would straight up be like, y'all, this wasn't it. <laughs> it's a couple of times that I've made some food online, on live. And I'd be like, uh-uh, mm -hmm. that wasn't it, y'all. I'm kind of hating on either it's YouTube or her phone. But my phone is not as clear as her phone. And TikTok is usually That's clear. That's Instagram. Oh, this is Instagram. I haven't reached TikTok following yet. To right. be That's Instagram. That's Instagram. It might be Instagram. Okay, because because I know that phone isn't out doing the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know. Hold I up, always, man. Hold I've up. Always been an Android. Hold up. Hold up. Samsung's whatever. When I got the ass phone, I was like, okay, we working with something. Let's here. get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Ooh. You iPhone users, let me tell you something about us Android users. Our phones. I need all iPhones. Um, from, um, carriers who have a phone to talk your smack after she's done. Okay, Our ahead. phones give the best pictures, camera, like videos, everything. Like Androids is the bomb when it comes to that. No, seriously. And I've I've had <laughs> no one's agreeing they have iPhones. <laughs> I've had a couple of people tell me that recently, like, 
And they iPhone you. They like, well, your camera is really nice. Really? Yeah. yeah really I'm like, it's my phone or the social media platform that I'm using. But you are very clear. It's like it's it's really live. The lighting is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. This salad. It's I think it's right Instagram. I think it's Instagram. I'm gonna get my TikTok followers up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a couple of TikToks before she leaves too. She don't know it yet. Oh my but God. she know now. I don't know how to dance. She about to learn today. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna get some TikTok on her, her TikTok. Cause you probably don't have not one video posted on your TikTok yet, huh? No, I, I no, well not a video. Yes, I do. I have a video of vacation, but not like how people practice their dance routines and things of that nature. Gotcha. She gonna do a TikTok today. Y'all hold on. This salad is so delicious. It's so delicious. And that Caesar dressing, oh my God. I love a good Caesar salad. It's a Caesar. And Caesar I started to get some croutons too. Oh, them croutons would have been like. Set it off. It would have set it off for real, for real. Yeah, it would have set it off. I'm, just, I'm not getting good. nothing else after this. Because I want to <laughs> at least enjoy my, <laughs> my meal. We just got to put small portions on the plate. Okay. You know them fine dining restaurants. And we have like Fair one school. I don't know the names, but when I went to Atlanta for my birthday last year, I went to this rooftop. Like, it's always the rooftop on these small plates. And the food, it was fine dining. And the portions was like, that was my first time doing fine dining. And I was like, what in the hell? He was like, that's a kid's meal. Right. <laughs> and it wasn't even all that good. I was like, I could have cooked this shit at home. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's another thing with fine dining. Or the small plate restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's just about the ambiance, the vibe, the scenery. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Check on that meatloaf in a minute, y'all. It's smelling good. Something's smelling good. Mm -hmm. It's just everything. Mm. The salad? The tomatoes like you were so good. It don't help the fact that we're hungry too, though, for real. <laughs> you know, when you're hungry. You know, when a chef gives you props on a salad, you did something pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to check my text messages until I'm almost at school. Mm -hmm. I might get a text message, message saying, bring me a salad. <laughs> Good. And it was so healthy. Kale. That's so good. Spring mix. Romaine. Let me check this um loaf. Oh my god, I'm at the restaurant, y'all. She got the dang on <laughs> the mama to honey. Girl, I got the mama to. Oh. <laughs> Cake, 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 mm -hmm. cake, cake. Oh yeah. That's done. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We got a cake loaf in the oven, y'all. Okay. <laughs> we will have a cake loaf with y'all. Look at there. Baby, you would never go hungry around here. 
Uh -uh. Oh Meat and loaf God. cake loaf. Oh, and it's not falling apart. Mm -hmm. It's nice and put together. Oh, that macaroni and cheese is even looking bomb. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Look at there. Mm. Oh, yes. Perfect. Ooh. 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 Mm. That's done. Let's keep going with this macaroni and cheese. Ooh. Oh my god, I just want to put that macaroni and cheese. Oh girl, that macaroni and cheese. We can take this out like for real, for real. This this is melted. Oh, and let yeah. it get settled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sit that over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that cabbage talking about. What's the cabbage talking about. Oh, we could turn that off. What's the cabbage talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. That corner of the cob, too. That corner of the cob, that got to cook a little bit longer, right? Um, that's true. That might be done, too. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Let's give them a little. I like the cabbage. Some people like a little crunch, too. I like a little crunch, yeah. I don't like I like going with my vegetables and have a little crunch, too. Yeah, everything needs a little crunch. Even mm -hmm. my chicken wings. Right. <laughs> Let me let y'all see what's going on in this, in these pots. So we got our cabbage, right? We got our corn in the cob. Mm-hmm. Got that good old mac and cheese. Yeah. And that good old cake loaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be, well, it's not supposed to be. It is a, a turkey loaf, but we cooked it inside of a cake pan instead of, um, a regular pan because I didn't have a regular pan, so we had to improvise and use what we what we could use. You know, we just making things do what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Okay, we making it do what it do. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just like that. It's gonna be on the menu when you guys come visit. Right. Definitely. Be like, I want the what's the cake loaf? I want to try that. Try the cake loaf, right? So if I it's it's cake loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Johnson says, need a microwave husband? I'm on deck. <laughs> Letitia, your belly button is showing the whole time. Shark man, I think that you have a belly button fetish. What, what, what's that about? Okay. Like, stop it. Knock it off. Knock it off. We didn't even look up the, um, well, the cold right? Yeah, it's just, it's it's really really nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. But this macaroni... Mm. I love the macaroni. Oh my god. Oh, they, your viewers need to see that. Uh, yeah, this macaroni. Oh my god. Get over. Come mm. on in. Come on in. Ooh. Can you see it? Oh, honey. Okay. I'm like, oh. Ooh. Get into it. Oh. <laughs> Get into it. Yes. Mm. 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 -mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that cheesy cheese. Oh. Everybody say yum, yum. Yum, yum. Say yum, yum. Yum, yum. yum. Say yum, yum. That macaroni and cheese looks so delicious. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. So, we're about to make us a plate. We about to make us a plate, y'all. What time is it? Cause I feel like I'm gonna be asleep before eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Boy stop cap. Boy stop cap and said, "Hey, pretty in white shirt, white t-shirt." Huh? Boy stop capping. It's one of my fellow YouTubers. Oh, he like the his. I, oh, I know what he's saying. He like his little macaroni and cheese with a little darkness on it. Mm. 
little darkness. Yeah, a little bakeness to it. Mm -hmm. I don't. don't. Really? Do, do you? You want? We can put it back in. No, 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 that's fine. It's nice and cheesy. But I, I use it. I feel you. I feel him. I know what he's saying. That's that. You from the country? Where you from? <laughs> I'm from the country, so we do have a little darkness, a little toast. Yeah, I can put it back in the oven and get a little darkness so they can see the darkness. That's up to you. I'm cooking. I'm cooking with Tish. <laughs> Drinking my favorite one. <laughs> my favorite one. <laughs> I don't usually cook mine to 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 have darkness on it. I'm more so concerned with the cheese being cheesing, the cheese cheesing and melting and all that. Like as long as it's doing that, mm -hmm. it's good enough for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good either way. I mean, whether it have a little darkness to it or if it's light skin. <laughs> I like my light skin. That's the only thing I like light skin is my food. She tried my salad <laughs> with the red onions. I'm gonna try her macaroni and cheese without the dark. Without the dark, skin. with the dark skin to it. Yeah, that's a dark skin. <laughs> no, he said dark, dark tone, dark. Oh, a little dark on the top. Okay, okay, okay. We got mm -hmm. you. So let's why let's why more. We don't have any vodka, Michael. Oh, Shoot, vodka. It's Sunday. We're trying to relax. He's trying to put us the. Um, he's trying, trying to, to get us, us drunk. <laughs> trying to get us drunk. That's what he's trying to do. They like, where's the time show? We're gonna do some belly dancing. <laughs> they were talking about my damn belly button. Oh right. <laughs> Shark tails or whatever his name okay. is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put a little macaroni and cheese on the plate. Just a little quarter. Oh yeah. Six plates. Uh huh. A little something, something. Yeah, oh, now one thing I put on my meatloaf, cake loaf, is ketchup. I I, I do that too sometimes. Okay. I do. I do. I have done it. Got the corn in the cob. Mm. Mm, cheesy, cheesy, mm, cheesy. Yeah. Cabbage. Ooh. A little cabbage. Oh yeah. You need a knife? Yeah. In this in this, that drawer you was just in. There should be knives in here. There's some knives in there. So we done both of us already had two um servings of salad, so we're not going to put giving a taste test right yeah. now. Yep. What y'all talking about? Yes, it's time to eat. Hey, Shook. How you doing? You late, but guess what? You can catch the replay. You can catch the replay. All right. Let's cut this. Oh, this meatloaf. Mm. Oh, my God. This meatloaf look like everything. For real, for real. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Ooh. You got everything on your plate? Mm. You need corn in the car. Oh yeah. Get you a piece of corn. And we're gonna sit down and we gonna eat, honey. Good God. Let's eat. Yes, indeed. Grains, and we're gonna get it in. Right here. up north and marry you <laughs> i'm up north once in once a month baby <laughs> get in okay okay it is time to say our grace thank you lord for this food we're about to receive may 
Bless the hands that prepared it and may it be used for the nourishment of our minds and our body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. amen and amen, amen again. So what you gonna taste first? Mm, I'm with the macaroni. You gonna taste the macaroni first? I'm gonna yes. taste this meatloaf first. You taste the macaroni first. I'm gonna taste this loaf. Mmm. You want it, you want it darker, you want it darker. And yeah, tighter. I'm more of a um, compact macaroni. But cheese. guess what? As it sit, it's gonna get compact. Mm. It's fresh out the oven right now. So, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That thing was good. Mm -hmm. Let me taste Miss Davis yeah. cabbage. Something a little, it's good. Did you put the green peppers in it? Yeah. I don't taste the green peppers. Maybe I should put more. Okay. I would definitely have more green peppers in it. But it's good. I like it. I'm trying to meet loaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. The meatloaf. What, what is it doing? It's here. It's here. That corn in the cob. Let's do that corn in the cob, too. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Everything is delicious to me. Y'all like, going walking with us? <laughs> we definitely need to we walk. We don't have to go walking after this. Right. That meatloaf is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my God. Mm. Everything is good. Yeah, it really is. Everything good. And one thing you really don't want is all your food to be over seasoned. You want to be able to enjoy everything. Because guess what? One thing for sure, two things for certain. If something is not seasoned enough, and something is seasoned just perfectly on the plate, mm -hmm. you can join it together, and that item that's not seasoned enough mm -hmm. is going to balance out everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, but everything's good. I definitely, definitely would have put more peppers. In, the, in um, my cabbage, cabbage. though. Mm -hmm. I because I want to, I want to taste the peppers. We have a few more we can still put in there for later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't even have a pepper. Outside of that, oh my god, everything is so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So good. Mm, mm, mm. I haven't had a meal like this in so long. Right. Mm. Then this will last for the rest of the week. Like, you can take some home, bring it for lunch, for mm -hmm. work. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. We could barely even talk to y'all. <laughs> Sleep. Sleep mm. is an understatement. <laughs> I'm going to fucking coma. Right. <laughs> oh my god. This was so good. 
And I'm we're not just saying it because we were the chef. No, everything is so good. Mm -hmm. If I had to rate everything on a scale of one to ten, definitely eight and a half, nine. Yeah, agree. You know, I'm sorry, but y'all been on here for a while, and y'all know we just had two salads. Yeah. There's no way we should have empty plates almost. <laughs> mm -mm. So you know it's good. What time is it? Six. But this is a good time for us to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a good time to eat dinner. Yeah. So by the time we get ready to go to sleep, Settle. our food gonna be so digested. We're going to be done did a couple of TikTok videos. Oh, my God. We're going to be done walked around the neighborhood. Oh, my God. I didn't bring no walking shoes. What size you wear? Nine. Oh. Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what size I am. I'm wearing some flip flops with you. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Y'all just corn. Let's see my plate. I ain't doing my happy dance for y'all. I'm gonna do my happy dance. And then I'm getting out of here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all And stay tuned for the video that I'm gonna drop for you guys that's gonna show. I'm gonna give y'all like a lineup of days that I'm gonna do different type of videos. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, I have supporters on here that like different things. And y'all subscribe to my channel for different things. So I wanna be able to give that variety. And that's really what I intended for this channel in the beginning was to give like a variety of different type of content. It wasn't, wasn't really meant to do one thing. So. Let me do my happy dance. Mm. Rebecca got engaged yesterday. Congratulations. Congratulations, Rebecca. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay, so I've learned the song. What is the happy dance? About to do my happy dance. When the food is good. It's just a praise and worship dance. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Every one of you for watching and you know just staying tuned in for how long we've been on here? An hour and 48 minutes. So those of you that was here from the beginning to the end, I appreciate you. Those of you that was here from the middle to the end, I appreciate you. And even those of you that came in at the tail end till now, I appreciate you. You want to know why? Because you took the time out of your busy schedule to spend it with me and Sha. It was a pleasure being here. I really, really enjoyed myself. We will be back. <laughs> I'll be more crunk next time. This is my first time. Mm -hmm. Live, anything, and I really enjoyed myself. So... Again. You was you were so awesome. Thank you guys. Let's drink to that. Yeah, let's drink to that. Mm. Until next time. We're cooking with Tish. Peace. Bye guys. <laughs>